morning, good morning. Welcome back to another edition of Mo Said So. I'm your host, Mo, and I'm here to spread a little bit of love, a little bit of positive thinking, and a little bit of healthy living. On today's edition, Mo's feeling a little bit irate. He's feeling a little bit stressed. He's watching people drive around like a bunch of morons. These people should not be on the street. Yes, you texting people, that's who I'm talking about. You fools out there that can't do two things at once and shouldn't be doing two things at once. Get off the road. You should not be on the road while you're texting. It's ridiculous what you're doing. There's some statistics saying that now texting and accidents, vehicle accidents on the roadway, texting has surpassed drunk driving, has surpassed fiddling around with your radio, has surpassed eating food. Actually, it has equaled almost all three of those put together. So what are we doing people we're trying to stay in touch with other people by texting instead of maybe using a hands-free device and actually physically calling them on the phone and by doing so we have caused public roadways to be an unsafe and unfit environment for the rest of us to be driving in I pay my taxes, I pay my insurance on my vehicle, and I pay for my vehicle and gas. I deserve to be driving on a roadway that is safe and sound for me, for my family, for anyone else out there that truly believes and truly deserves to drive on the roadway. It is a privilege. It is not a given. So for all you people out there, please, do us a favor, do the world a favor. Look at, you know, people, I don't understand. I just seen a guy right now run a, a stop sign. That's crazy too. Just terrible driving. But regardless, we're talking about texting right now. We're not talking about uh, breaking the, the laws of the road, which of course texting is now breaking the laws of the road. So I wish the government can implement a little bit more of a system to uh, maybe uh, monitor what's going on in the world right now with texting and driving and let's let's nip this thing in the bud let's eliminate texting from driving you should be in a stationary position non moving when you're texting we're talking about all kinds of letters on a keypad and you have to individually select them in order to make your sentence or your conversation. Mo is usually about positive thinking and I want to be positive and say those people maybe you're not morons you're just for some reason fixated on the trend of texting now let's make a new trend. How about the trend of driving responsibly? How about the trend of being aware of other people around us and understanding that we are affecting their drive, their commute every day? On the way to my wor workplace today, I seen three or four vehicles within a couple of kilometers stretch that they had a couple of hundred meters between them and the next car. Another vehicle, maybe a hundred meters between the next car. I'm looking at them saying, whoa, this must be some kind of 90 year old granny or someone, so I'm not gonna honk and tell them to get out of the fast lane when they're traveling at 40 kilometers where it's supposed to be a 60, or when I'm on the next roadway that is 80 and they're traveling 65. No, I pull up beside them in the slowly, I have to pass them in the right lane. And I take a little gander to my left and I see 
There's a young girl. I check the next one. There's a young guy. The third one, the one that starts getting me a little bit irritated, gets my blood boiling. Another guy maybe around my age. Who gives you the right to make the roadway your own? It's not your own. It's a public roadway. It's for all of us to use. People, let's make this roadway, this this form of transportation a little bit more safer for everyone, all the users. I don't want to hate on you texting people. I understand texting is something that the, is the future. It's a trending thing. It's something that maybe people are just seeing and they're factuated with. I understand that. But people are also factuated with a million other things that are on TV and that. Blowing up buildings, seeing a bunch of adventure movies, seeing some sci-fi stuff. You don't see yourself trying to beam yourself up through a microwave oven, do you, to some, some kind of ship out in the distance? No. So again, let's be courteous to our fellow humans, to our fellow brothers and sisters driving. Let's make it a safe drive, a constant flow of traffic and at the least the least you can do is move over to the right with the larger vehicle and see and stay in that kind of area so that people can properly move to the left side of the lanes which is commonly known as the passing lane so I'll mow I'm just giving my little two cents on what I think about texting and driving. And I ain't gonna lie, I've replied once or twice while I'm driving and I've noticed how bad it is. And that's why I don't do it anymore unless I'm at a red light. Thank you again for tuning in to my program, my show. I hope you take a little of the information that I give you and you use it positively in your own lives and maybe tell those people that you know maybe your brother maybe your sister maybe your mom maybe your dad whoever it might be and say mom dad brother sister cousin friend maybe you should put that away until we get to a stop sign a stop light an area where you can stop on the side of the road if it's an urgent message and do things properly. Let's make it safe. Let's make this world a better place. We're only dragging ourselves further and further down. Thank you again. Peace, love, and I'll see you next time. We out of here.